Hello everyone, welcome uh, back to my channel. If you've never been on my channel, my name is Kristen Leanne and I use only cruelty-free makeup on this channel in my life everywhere. Yes. Today, I wasn't actually planning on sitting down and filming this. I have a meeting in a little bit here. I have a meeting at 11.30 and it is 10.15, 10.14 to be exact. And I keep seeing people do the getting ready in five minutes and uh, no shade to anybody, but if I had the five minutes to get ready, I wouldn't be doing any makeup. So uh, I thought something more realistic would be today's situation where I have less than an hour to do my hair and my makeup and I have other things to do along with that, get ready, get dressed, put my computer in a bag, etc. get my whole life together in one little bag so I can go to my meeting. Um, so I thought it'd be more realistic for me personally. Um, maybe some people can do makeup in five minutes. I know, actually, I know they can. I've seen it. They're wizards. I, if I got five makeups, if I got five makeups, if I've got five minutes to do makeup, makeup's not happening. Like that's not my, like I'd rather like figure out a cute outfit to wear. So today I'm going to take 10 minutes to do my makeup and that is more realistic to me. I can't even like get my foundation on in five minutes and eyebrows. So. I haven't pulled anything out on the counter yet, except these items that I pretty much always have on my counter that I'm gonna be using. Oh, geez. <laughs> I just break it all before I start. We're gonna do a super light, uh, simple makeup look. I'm just gonna show you kind of my priorities when I only have 10 minutes to do makeup. Maybe they will be yours, or maybe you need a little bit of help because sometimes you only have 10 minutes and you really don't know where to start. So hopefully this will be a little bit of inspiration. If not, Hopefully it's at least entertaining. It's kind of a lot of pressure with no cuts to be entertaining for 10 minutes. So there might be some like time where I'm like just trying to concentrate and get my eyebrows done. Um, you might be wondering what's on my head that is completely sliding off. This needs to be tighter. Um, maybe I should turn this a few more times. I got these on Amazon. I got a, a set of like five of them or something. So there's different colors and whatnot. And I got these because I like to, when I'm in a hurry especially, I like to let my hair kind of dry out as close to dry as possible before I go in with a blow dryer. Otherwise I'm just sitting there with a blow dryer, sweating in the summer, like the midst of summer, just like sweating my balls off. And then I feel like I need to take a shower again. So these guys were super, super cheap. This is just like a little, these are really good too if you're putting like oil on your head and you're gonna sleep in it or conditioner or whatever. All my people that bleach their hair, you know you got a lot of treatments to do. Um, or if you have curly hair, dry hair. So I'll link these in the description box for you guys if you wanna pick these up, but they were really cheap. Like I wanna say they were like $12 for like five or six of them, different colors, but. I'll leave that in the description box if you're interested. Um, <clears throat> I just thought I should call out the elephant in the room because this is not my normal look. Although it is really comfortable. It's very soft. We're gonna put on, I'm gonna go ahead and put, can you see? 10, 10 minutes on the timer. We're gonna start it right now. There it goes, let's get going. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This might take me a little bit longer too because I'm like talking and I am telling you guys what I'm using, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a sense of urgency about this. You know what I mean? I've been putting primer underneath my eyes lately. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like it helps my concealer stick and to fill up the little wrinkles around there. So that's what I like to do. Today, you always see me wear my foundation. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop foundation. A lot of you guys ask me what shade I am. This is, I mix these two together, eight, uh, medium 85 and light 60. Uh, I don't really know if this is even my color right now, but it's gonna be my color. And if it's not, we'll make my chest match my face because ain't nobody got time to figure out what their foundation shade is right now, you feel me? So uh, I'm just gonna roll with this. And usually I put my foundation on after I, we're gonna go brush for foundation today because it's faster. Usually where are my foundation brushes? There it is. Um, usually I do my foundation after, but because I'm doing such a light makeup look, I am going to be doing this first. Look, I can't even talk while I'm doing makeup. How do I even have a job being on YouTube? Like, I don't understand what happened. What did I do to deserve you guys? Because I don't, I don't know. 
you ever shock yourself sometimes? Like maybe you're at work or maybe you're like at a shoot or something and you're just like, I can't believe somebody pays me to do this. Like, because I'm, I'm not, I'm not that awesome. <laughs> I'm kind of having one of those moments right now. Oh, I'm so sad that freaking. I wish True Blood would come back. Can I get an amen? Like, I just love me some True Blood. And I really wish that it would come back. I miss it. I miss it so much. Oh, I did arm day at the gym today and my arm is like burning. It's burning! Okay, one good thing to make sure that you do do when you are busy doing your makeup is get this out on your ear, back here, and down your neck. Because if you don't, that's one of the most obvious signs that someone didn't really take the time to do their makeup. And we've all been there. I still go there sometimes and I'm just like, this is just embarrassing. Like, one time I was actually going to a meeting or something and I saw like how bad my line was and I was like, praise Jesus for a Sephora that's on the way <laughs> because I had to go in there and I was like, this is insane. Like, looks like a five-year-old did my makeup. And what I'm gonna do with my hair today is I'm just gonna diffuse it because I find that that's like the easiest thing to do like once it's already kind of dry. Um, this is the ColourPop Concealer. I still have glitter on from the look I filmed yesterday. I knew it was gonna be there forever, I swear. It's like, never goes away. This is not a clean beauty blender and it's not damp either. We're gonna use it anyway because I don't have time to not. Okay, I'm really nervous. Like what if I'm like literally halfway done by the time that timer goes? You know what happens when I do that? I'm just late. Like that's just how it is. Like I'm just gonna be late. So hopefully that doesn't happen today since I'm trying to show you all how I do a 10 minute makeup look. That would be real awkward. So I've been uh, shamelessly watching Bachelor in Paradise lately. Uh, really kind of obsessed with that show. <laughs> it's such a trash like like TV show. I don't know why I like it so much, but um, I love Jenna. I think she's so funny. I think we'd be friends in, in real life. But what shows have you guys been liking? You should tell me because, I mean, you guys have been telling me on Twitter and I have been where, I have been paying attention because you guys have good taste. A lot of them I have already seen. Um, I think Drew Barrymore is actually gonna start filming iZombie, like again. Not iZombie, sorry, Santa Clarita Diet. I'm like trying to do 10 things at once and it's just a little weird. Okay, so I always go to my eyebrows next because I, if I don't have my eyebrows on, like there's just, why do I even have makeup on my face? That's like how I feel. I'm just gonna take this entire giant mirror so I like to use this specific product. I just did um, a video and I featured this because it's one of my favorites. It just makes like doing this like so much easier and faster. So this is the, I'm trying to like figure out where my best positioning is here. This is the um, Hourglass Brow Pencil. Oh, this is so hard to talk and try and do your brows at once. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Well, I like to get the little hairs up here for sure. Oh, I just drew that one like way too low. Oh my God, I have three minutes left. Ah! That's scary. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of, this is New Magic. 
by ColourPop. I love this stuff. Like, you don't even really have to do anything else with your makeup, um, for the eyes anyway, and just pop this on and I think it looks really nice. And you really don't need to blend it in and pretty good. Okay. Bronzer! I'm gonna be using the NYX, I mean Urban Decay, um, Shape Shifter palette for just a little bit of quick bronzer right here. Typically, like, if I'm really low on time, like I am right now, which I probably should have done, is I just skip this and I just do some blush. It is so freaking hot in here. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Peachy Blush. Maybe we should make this like the 10 to 15 minute makeup challenge. Not challenge, but like getting ready. Cause like, I don't know if I ever really do do makeup in 10 minutes. I feel like I have before, but I don't know. Maybe it's cause I'm talking. It's like going by so fast. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Mascara. Try not to poke my eye out. I've been sleeping with a sleeping mask on uh, lately and I feel like it's made my eyelashes like go in all sorts of weird directions and stuff. So like putting mascara on is like extra difficult. These ones aren't laying out right. Like I need to curl these. I probably should have done that. Oh well. I don't have to look good at my meeting, right? Like. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm sweating. It's so hot in here. A little bit of lower lashes to look like I actually tried a little bit, you know? Like, ooh, she got lower lashes on. She had some time to put her makeup on. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter from the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette because I always think if you're doing really light makeup, like some nice highlight always goes a long way. Like looks makes you look like fresh and glowy and lovely. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on and not go too overboard with it. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. Usually like if I wasn't talking, I feel like I'd have like more time to blend out and stuff, but you know, it is what it is. It's life. Okay. Now let's actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my brow, brow bone. Fingers are like your best friend when you're in a hurry too. Like sometimes they just get the job done way faster, you know? And I really usually like a little inner corner glow if I'm not gonna do like, ah! we're done. Okay, no we're not. We're gonna do that. I like a little inner glow if you're not gonna do like the full makeup, you know? Little, little glow. Okay, lastly, we're gonna put some lipstick on. Do I want that one? I don't know, do I? Yes, no, yes, no, maybe so. All my lipstick's like over there, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab a lip liner and just use that today. Cause it'll stay on during my meeting while I'm eating, which is a little trick I like where I don't actually full on just wear lipstick, but line your whole lips and then you fill it in and it's way more indestructible. That like scared the shit out of me when that alarm went off. Like I was expecting it, like I knew it was coming, but I still was like, ah! I don't know, freaked me out. It's also kind of early in the morning, so there's that too. Okay, to sharpen this.
And just because these are kind of bugging me right now, I'm gonna curl these a little bit. Okay, there you have it. There is my 10 minute makeup look. This is something that I would do. I probably should have skipped the bronzer, but um, wearing a little bit of blush there will definitely like help give you a little bit of life along with like a little bit of highlighter just to help make you look alive and not so dead. Sometimes when you just have a foundation on, it just looks really just flat. Um, so it gives you some dimension, a little bit of glow, but hopefully you guys uh, got some tips and tricks out of this. I don't know. I feel like it wasn't that special, but you know, hey, it's my 10 minute makeup routine. This is pretty much every single thing that I would do. One thing that I might do if I had a little bit more time is throw some gloss on top of the lips because I like that too. It gives like a nice fresh kind of, I don't know, fresh dewy glowy look. It really goes well with the highlight. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know down below in the comments, like what is the, like what is one or two things that you will not skip if you're putting makeup on your face, like period. Like, is it your brows? Is it your lips? Is it your contour? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.